George Ann Johnson whose acting career spanned six decades in TV, film and Broadway has died age 91. The actress who played the mother of Jane Seymour's character on Drive. Quinn Medicine Woman died on June 4 in Los Angeles, according to an announcement by her daughter Carol Prager on Thursday in the obituary section of the Los Angeles Times. Johnson worked steadily as a character actress in more than 115 movies and TV series, including Archie Bunker's Place, Too Close for Comfort, Three's Company and As the World Turns. She was born on August 15, 1926 in Decorah, Iowa, and graduated from Decorah High School. Johnson earned a BA from Luther College and a master's degree in oratory from Northwestern University. She moved to New York City in 1950 and throughout the decade work in the new medium of television. Johnson appeared with James Dean in Life Sentence and as Paul Newman's wife in the original TV production of Bang the Drum Slowly. She also played Tony Randall's wife in the TV show Mr. Peeper. Johnson was on Broadway in 1954 in Reclining Figure and during a revival of Room Service met actor Stanley Prager. They married in 1956 and Prager after being blacklisted during the McCarthy era switched to directing. Johnson and Prager survived the blacklist and she starred on Broadway in the 1960s opposite Henry Fonda in Critics' Choice. She had TV roles in Dr. Kilder, The Doctors and The Fugitive and a role in 1969's Midnight Cowboy, which won the Oscar for Best Picture. Johnson in the 1970s established long-running roles on soap operas and then continued working with recurring roles on TV, including as Elizabeth Quinn on Drive. Quinn, medicine woman, wise guy and our family honor. She relocated to Los Angeles after her husband's death in 1972 and married Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Jack Tanner. They remained married until his death in 2008. Johnson is survived by her four daughters Carol Prager, Annie Prager, Sally Seymour Ralph, and Molly Boyle David, and three grandchildren.